Hi, so this video is for project seven. Um, we're talking about project seven ends in a paper. So this is just outlining how we expect the paper to be done and to show you how the research and the jot notes and the mind map, they're all the same and how that leads to um, a paper and how you can, we've shown you already how it leads to a presentation. We've shown you already how it leads to a PowerPoint. Um, and now this, the same process can lead you to a, uh, a paper. So the process that I'm hoping that you get is how to understand a topic inside and out, regardless of um, what you want to do with it. This is just a good way to understand a topic. So you can therefore use this in science, you can use this in LA, you can use this in math, you can use this in any research, if anything you want to learn, you can use it in computers, etc., 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 etc. Anyways, to the point, we have a research document here and you can see that the um, there are questions but the main the questions are no longer the point of the the research because questions drive um, information that's what the point of it is so if, if you're getting the right information you don't need questions per se to outline what your research you need more more topics but those questions kind of lead to topics and uh, Hopefully you're, you're slowly start starting to understand that as you go forward. Um, again, the questions are not the main point. The questions are just what you're wondering. So the what you're really wondering is um, topics and areas. So, yeah. So as we have, you can see um, there's a lot of information about the Famous Five. This is 14 pages of the Famous Five. And so to because there's so much information here, we have to go through and uh, it's easier to think about this in ways of jot notes and um, so jot notes and um, mind maps and mind maps are just kind of the two different ways to outline the jot notes as you can see the jot notes the suffragettes voters military nurse and you go down to suffragettes voters nurse relation all federal so when we talk about that, everyone else, military relations, um, you can see how it's kind of organized very, very similar ways. So when we get to our paper, because this is not different than anything before, and this is not different than anything before, and we've been doing this for four or five projects now, and we've been doing this. Um, when you get to the paper, the introduction should be the description or any key definitions information they need before moving forward. So explaining the issue um, and going from there. So to start off the famous five, for instance, we would type out um, the famous five were five women that, and you can use your, your research, the famous five were uh, women who in 1927 helped um, women in Canada get the right to vote. The five women, when again, these five women here, this would be uh, any key definition or information. These five women would be these three. You can list the five women here. Um, and explaining the issue and explaining the issues of the important part. So when we talk about um, explaining the issues, you this would be where you give a, a short history about the issue. So what's the preamble? What's the what do they need to know before reading your paper? When we get into paragraph one, when we, so I hope that makes sense. The introduction is a quick description, uh, any key definitions, information that they need before moving forward, and explaining the issue. So we would say in this, the famous five are five Canadian women that helped women get the right to vote and then you'd explain the five women and you'd explain uh, how they were not people under the DNA Act and how the um, how changing technologies and changing society from a farm life and adding technology to their life um, allowed them to have more free time, which led them to work, which led them to ask for equal rights with men, because before it was men would work, and that's why women couldn't vote. They were just not viewed as the same. But when they were doing the same work, there's no reason to hold them back. So when we go back to our jot notes here, I'm not going to type all this out because I don't believe that you guys want to sit there and watch me type. So um, when we talk about... 
let's talk about this first one here, or this third one here, the suffragettes, the votes, the uh, nurse relation, all. But we go to this. The suffragettes, what is the suffragette? Well, they wanted a, they were arguing about votes. So when we go to paragraph, the topic sentence explains the paragraphs. And we don't have to talk about the famous five anymore because that's the overall topic of the paper. So we need to talk about the suffragettes here. So the suffragettes were um, a group of women that all fought to have the right for, to vote. And again, this would be just like you're talking in your video when you see suffragettes it's what you want to say it's what you want to talk about hopefully it's not 30 to 45 sentences and it's just one to two sentences you're sticking to the point you're getting to the point and and as fast as you get to the point that's that's how well it goes uh after you get your paragraph your topic sentence which is this first bubble or second bubble if you've got two like this your first bubble um, then you get into specifics. So if you wanted to expand this military nurse and make it a paragraph or military relations and make it a paragraph, you could do that. But in this example, suffragettes, military nurse is one example. So when we go down to here and we talk about note one, giving reason, example, proof of the paragraph topic, um, this is more of a story format. So paragraph, the topic is suffragettes and the voting. And... The first notes talk about how military nurses were the first to vote. Because they were in the military, they were granted the right to vote. And then it talks about note two, which is the same. So note two is military relations. It, the women then moved on to getting the right to vote through um, if you had a father or a brother in the war, you were allowed to vote. And now you can expand on this note a little bit because there's another example and so you can you can give specifics for instance in world war one they started to uh have conscription and conscription is where you're forced to go to war so they let the women because all the men were away and so all the men that were going to vote were either in the army and it was really tough to get them to vote especially because a lot of them were dead frankly um so it, it hurt their numbers so to increase their numbers and get their ch the chances of winning up they allowed those women who were had relations in the army, so a brother or a father. Um, if your family member was in the army, you were allowed to vote, and most likely that those women would vote for conscription. So when we go back to this famous five, so that right there would be about four four sentences for this paragraph. The fifth one would be in 1927 through the BNA Act and the Queen. Um, everybody got the right to vote. That final sentence, that note three, can either sum up and finish your paragraph, which you don't have to re-summarize everything, but the example that I gave when we talked about the BNA Act and the Queen, that leads you into your very next paragraph. So it's, it, it, it has a little bit better flow because you're using this last note to lead into um, the person's case. So the person's case was, and that would be, a new a new paragraph so i hope this makes sense um introduction description any key definitions information before they need moving forward explain the issue paragraph is the topic sentence then note one note two note three again very very similar to um what you're saying in your videos it's just written down um then you continue with paragraphs until all your jot notes are done and your conclusion your finally your conclusion is the last the happy um the happy ending or the the conclusion of the topic you don't need to restate your whole argument or recap the whole story you can say um in 1927 they got the right to vote um women continued to have an uphill struggle after that they currently face the the glass ceiling there's no, they're underrepresented in parliament and um in a lot of different industries and while we have the right to vote for since 1927 um, there are still laws today that hold us down or you can say that ever since then women have thrived especially in the 60s and the um, the freedom movement and um, their roles have changed and this is because the the famous five helped us do this but you don't have to go through and relist all of these things that you talked about here it's the the conclusion should be a nice um summing up of your paper like finishing of your paper not a 
a restating of everything that you've tried to set. If you're going to restate, absolutely avoid, 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 avoid restating all of your arguments, especially in list format. If you just list things, it it's not good. So I hope this explains everything. Um, if you have questions, please, please, please come see me.